What's going on, y'all? Beat Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back with bangers, okay? So check this out. Um, what we're going to be going over today is how you can make your own like trap uh, sound bank, all right, using Sculpture Modeling Synth in Logic Pro 10. Most of y'all probably haven't even heard of Sculpture Modeling Synth. It's basically under instruments. So like when basically when you start to create a brand new software instrument track, you click there and under instrument, click uh, and scroll down until you see sculpture. Okay. And it'll say modeling stuff here. All right. So we'll just click on that. It's going to open this up. And obviously if you click right here, there's a lot of different defaults, but what I'm going to be sharing with you is how you can take the basic, you know, rudimentary sound and turn this into multiple different sounds uh, that you could use in your trap beats, okay? So let's just take a look at all this. You have a lot of different options. So up here, you have uh, different modes. You have this uh, keyboard mode right here that has poly, mono, or legato. Um, we got different voices that you can uh, change in and out of, okay? They just have so many different options here. You know, you have glide time, tune, warmth, transpose, and you know it's pretty self-explanatory here so let's just take a look at this you know you can even come in here and do some dope filters uh sweeping you can do some dope morphine um and you can just really come in here and affect the sound and this is a stock plug-in right here in logic pro 10 so let's just go ahead and start manipulating some sounds and save them and bring them back up and i'm going to take you through that whole process so let's check it out So you can come over here. Let's look at this filter first. So this was just using this filter just a little bit here. You can you can gain a little bit of a, a slight dope trap vibe. So yeah, if you look close in here, we got nylon, wood, steel, uh, and this is glass. So you can come in here and move this around and get different um, feels and different vibes. All right, so we, we added something on the on the filter here. Let's go to morph. You can come over here and add, you know, mess around with the LFOs. All right, so we, let's just say we keep up, we can, we can keep on messing around with this if we want. We can turn this delay off if we want. You have some little EQ in that you could do on this. It's a lot you can do. But let's just say that we like this sound, right? Where we, we came in here and, and, and made. All you have to do to save this is just go over here to factory default and scroll down to save as. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull up right here. It's gonna pull this in your sculpture folder. You can name this whatever. So I'm gonna say Trapville uh, 001, okay? So we got Trapville 001. If I wanna bring that back up for whatever reason, you know, uh, to cook up some tracks. Let's just say we're starting off with a brand new instrument track. Um, we'll obviously go under instrument here and find the sculpture modeling synth and push create. But then I can pull this back up if I go back to this factory default and all of those samples or any type of sound that I save will be right here, right above all of the presets. So all I do is just click this and I got my sound back. So we got glide. Okay, and if 
you wanted to, you know, resave this as trap bell number two, same difference here. Save as, and instead of trap bell zero zero one, we just go zero zero two. Okay, super simple. Now another trick here would be to go within the preset. So you're gonna click up here. Let's just do it from the beginning. Um, we'll go in here, software instrument track, sculpture. Click that, and then another trick would be to go over here to the presets, and then you know, make add your own little touch to that. So let's like this. This is a pad right here. Let's go to this ambient light, and I can come in here and affect how this sounds. Okay, so I can rename this now. I can come over here, save as, and then I'm gonna say trap pad. Uh, we'll say trap air pad. Okay, and same difference. As you can see, it's right under here. I can go back right there. And you can come in here and literally make your whole, make a whole, like a whole kit basically you know, or VST um, presets here that you can use. So like I come over here, okay, I don't really like this, how this is filtered out. Add delay on this. And so basically just wanted to show y'all this, man. I mean, this is a pretty simple way, you know, say if you're trap pluck, I'm gonna call this trap pluck. Let's say if you're, you know, you're brand new to Logic Pro 10, you don't have a whole lot of, uh, you know, uh, plugins already on there or external VSTs that you're gonna put into the, you know, software or whatever. You have a lot right here where you don't have to necessarily quickly have to go and jump to, you know, installing a whole bunch of extra plugins, you know what I'm saying, or VST. So you have this option right here. Again, this is a sculpture uh, modeling synth. And you can come in here and just mess, basically mess with these different uh, knobs and buttons, okay? Everything is pretty much self-explanatory when you look on here. Filter, you have delay, you have a little bit of body EQ, you know, and then say if you make a change to to one of your samples and you want to you know save it as or save over it, you just put save. And it's gonna you know save that, or you can do save as and go to the actual name and it'll rewrite it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, y'all, that's the video. I just wanted to show you this um, uh, the synth that you can use to make your own trap you know sounds. Okay, um, make sure that you know y'all going in here and checking these these uh these guys out here i'll continue to drop these videos uh, breaking everything down in here over time man just uh rock with me if you will uh, make sure you go to my site well as well beatmakingbasis.com we have courses there you can grab you have sound kits you can grab and you can also meet with me one-on-one -on -one if you need that extra bit of help all right, so appreciate y'all watching. Make sure if you don't do anything else, get subscribed to the channel. Make sure you get hit that like button um, if this if you found this helpful. And I appreciate y'all, man. I'll see y'all in the next video.